things in uh, Dreamweaver CS4. Um, for starters, I'm going to go to Insert Layout Objects Aptiv. Um, Aptiv is just like what Layers was uh, in the older Dreamweavers, uh, but they changed to Aptiv because that's the HTML code for uh, moving an image around freely uh, or any other asset in the um, frame here. So I'm going to go to Insert Image. Buttons 1 is my image that I want to use here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one image and map it to two different areas um, within the same image. And if I click the image, you'll see down here is the mapping tool. I'm going to trace out uh, this Photoshop logo here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the Flash logo here. And you'll see what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to have two hotspots now. Now I'm going to select the Photoshop. I have a link down here to Photoshop, the area I want to go to on the Adobe site. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that Photoshop hotspot and I'm going to put it right here in the link area box and down here the target. And the target is going to be underscore blank to pop up a new window. That's what underscore blank does. Um, and now let me click the flash um, hotspot. You see down here there's no information. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my link again copy it, select that flash hotspot, paste the link, and I have an option, underscore blank, or I can go back to the underscore self. Underscore self will contain the window within self, so I'm going to do that, underscore self, F12, I'm going to save it, test, well, let's do test two. and let's see what happens. Now I'm going to click on the Photoshop, and it's going to give me a new window. If I come back and click the Flash, you see that the Flash uh, link is going to open with the same window. That's where I have my buttons. I can go back, and that was where I went to in Photoshop. And there you have it. That's the Hotspot tool and the Active function.